What's up, it's you? For today's video, we're the full Pokemon Alphabet Team Letter Q. Boy, oh boy, people, I've only got two Pokemon to use in this team. Quagsire and Quillfish are the only Q Pokemon in Sword and Shield. This is hard, people. Now, if you do want to check me out on Twitch, people, this is where I do all my live Pokemon battle sweeps, theme teams, and all other forms of salty entertainment. Check me out at twitch.tv slash The link is in the description of the video. Okay, so we got three battles tonight, and I really hope you enjoy this pure content. Now, all the battles that I had, the opponent normally brought six Pokemon. So it was very, very difficult. Now, the first battle here, this one's against Jolt92, and we got a Glaceon lead. I'm starting off with uh, Quillfish in this battle, too. Now, this is going to be a special Quillfish, and this is a Hydro Pump Sludge Wave Ice Beam Acropressure set. So I've got Max Speed, Max Special Attack with Modest Nature. Now, the idea here is trying to go for a random boost in my stat, and maybe try and get a special attack boost, right? Unfortunately, I'm going to get a special defense boost there, which isn't all that bad against a Glaceon. Now, the ability on this one was Swiss Swim, so if I went for the Dynamax, which was a very high chance I would, I could get that easily activated, and Quillfish would outspeed a lot of things. Now, the item I've got on my Quillfish is Weakness Posse. I really needed a strong sweep, and I thought, you know, special Quillfish could be the way there. So, this Glacial doesn't have a lot to hit me with here. I've got that special defense rise of two, which is very, very good too, and I'm not taking much damage. So, I thought, let's go for a couple of Acro Pressures there and see what we can do. Unfortunately, I get an attack rise on that one, so that's not going to help me out at all. It would have if I was running a physical on run. Okay, so here comes another a barrage of Ice Beam, and Quillfish can probably pull off like one more against this before it goes down right. So getting that acrobatic boost there, I'm going to get another special event boost. So I've got plus four in special events, which is absolutely wild, and then I get critted by the Glacier. You wouldn't read about it. So goodbye, Quillfish. I've only got one more Pokemon left. And I haven't even done anything to this Glaceon yet. Okay, next Pokemon is the Quagsire. This is a slow, bulky set. We got Rest, Sleep, Talk, Classic, Poop Night combination there. Curse and Liquidation. Now, we got the uh, Moranga Berry on this. So that's going to bolster my Quagsire's special defense, which is going to be very, very good there. This thing has to be extremely bulky and just boost up with Curse, right? So I had a special attacker, a speedy special attacker, and I had a slow, uh, bulky uh, physical attacker. So that was pretty much on my team. Interestingly, both of them were pink shinies as well, which I thought was pretty cool. Now, I thought this would be a great Pokemon to set up in here because I was taking those attacks pretty well right when you look at it. So those Ice Beams, I can eat those all day long. So we're going to start setting up the Curses. Bolstering Quagsire's defense and attack at the same time there. My speed stat didn't matter at all. Quagsire is an overly fast Pokemon, so I didn't really mind about that. Uh, that was Max Health, and we had uh, Sassy Nature on that one too. And that was pretty much it. Now, you could go with the Leftovers as the item. I went with the Moranga Berry so I could have some more bulk on the special side, right? Uh, since I wasn't running into, like, you know, Amnesia. Now, I didn't run Recover on this set because in case I did get poisoned, I know I had Quillfish, but if Quillfish wasn't in the picture and Quagsire got poisoned, it would be really, really bad, right? So we got the Glaceon going for another Ice Beam. I just hung on there, and I'm able to get another Rest off here, which is going to get Quagsire all the way up to full health, right? So things are looking pretty good right now. Well, actually, no, things aren't looking very good at all. I've only got one Pokemon, but I'm pretty well set up here. So I need maybe a couple, uh, you know, maybe try and get a Quagsire sweep. Let's see. Uh, we got the Glaceon swapping out, and now we've got the Espeon coming. Another Espeon. It's been like an Espeon week this week, right? So I'm hoping that I can get a Sleep Talk liquidation and hit this Espeon real hard. I believe I can almost take it out here. And I get Sleep Talk and I get Rest. That's really, really sucks. That was a waste of turn there. So just some bad luck. Classic pimp like bad luck there. So I was like, okay, well, it's not much I can do here. Let's go for a Sleep Talk again. And then the Espeon goes for a Psych Up and it copies all my boosts. I was like, that's very naughty. Now, the ability on my Quagsire is unaware too, which works very, very well when the opponent tries to set up against you, right? So I get another Slate Talk, and I get another Rest there. It's like, oh my goodness, please don't do this to me. Now we got the Espeon going for a future sight, and my future's not looking too bright at the moment. Let me tell you that one. So Quagsire's going to wake up. I thought, you know what? Let's keep going for Curse here. I need to increase my attack. There were a couple of other Pokemon on their team as well, and they did have a theme team running too. Maybe you can guess it. By those two Pokemon. Uh, we got the uh, Hail going away now. We got the Espeon going for Psychic here. I lived that one really, really well. 
then I get a special defense shot. That was bad. That was very, very bad, right? Because now I lost the very activation I got earlier on in the game. So Quagsire is going to get hit a lot harder on the special side now. And remember, that future side is going to be coming after this Psychic as well. So SPM's gone for the Psychic on my Quagsire. I just lived there, which is very good. And now I can get the rest off here. But man, I'm taking the special moves nowhere near as well as I could have, right? Which sucks, right? So Quagsire is all the way back to full health here. However, it's going to be pretty short-lived because future side does a lot of damage. That does so much to me there. I need to get a, uh, not a rest, I need to get a Sleep Talk and a, uh, like a, some sort of attacking move, like my Liquidation, right? Uh, so go for my rest, hoping I don't get the Sleep Talk there, and I'm going to be crossing my fingers here. I've got nine health left, and then I get rest. That was the most trash luck I've had in a long time there. I couldn't roll a single attacking move. There you go, people. I thought I'd include this one just to give you a little bit of, of a idea of how difficult this team was. Thank you, Jol uh, Jolt92 there for the battle of GG, a real close one. A lot of people wanted me to put that video up because I got very salty about it. <laughs> I did, I was like, man, this sucks. Okay, battle number two. I hope this is gonna be a bit better than the last one. Like, you guys can race from that first battle, it's fine. Now, this is a battle against Turkey. This one was on my Twitch and we got a chance here later. I'm like, oh, here we go again. So I've got Quillfish. I thought about swapping in a Quagsire here for a bit, I was like, well, I might be able to get a I might be able to get a couple of Acro Pressure boosts up here and then go for Dynamax Quillfish, right? Now my last battle I could have gone for Dynamax, but I didn't want to. Like I wanted to take a couple of Pokemon out before I did that. And Quillfish was more suited to actually using Dynamax than the Quags are, right? Now this is a physical chance he hit me with a Thunder Punch. I'm like, is this gonna be some scummy Serene Gray set? Oh my goodness, so go for another Quagsire. So go for another Quagsire, another Acro Pressure Quagsire. It's coming in later, right? That better be the top comment. Going for another Quagsire. So I've got a couple of Acro Pressure boosts up here. Things are looking pretty juicy. I can go for a Dynamax Max guys here, or I could go for a Max Ooze to boost my special attack as well, right? That would definitely uh, help. And then I could go for Max Geyser after for a bit of power. I've got no idea how much I'm going to be able to do to this Chansey because Chansey's got a lot of uh, health, especially, and it's got pretty good special events on top of that, right? And it may have Everlight too, which a lot of the time it does. So I'm, I'm a little bit scared about this. However, it did do a fair bit of damage to me with Thunder Punch. So I'm thinking, I think this uh, is a Max Attack Chansey, which is pretty cool. So here comes a Max Geyser from my Quillfish. I know that I won't be able to one-shot, no way. But I'm pretty impressed with that damage. It does nearly half, so that's very, very good. And I reckon I could be able to get... Oh, I reckon I'll be able to get one more Max Ooze off against the Chansey, right? So Chansey's going to go for a Zen head, but this is definitely a scummy, like... Just a pure scummy Chansey set. Uh, go for the Max Ooze there, boosting my special attack. Now, I could potentially go for that again, but I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to risk it in case it paralyzes me with, like, Thunder Punch, right? Then it's not going to have Everlight or anything like that. It's going to be having a Citrus Berry. It's like, ah, oh, okay, so no Everlight. That makes sense why I did so much damage, right? So there goes the Thunder Punch there. I don't want to play any games whatsoever because I don't want to get paralyzed, right? And the uh, Chansey, the Flopper, is going to go down. So that's very good. I'm in a very strong position at the moment, and I do get a nice juicy crit there. Did that matter? It, it could have. It could have been very, very close. Next Pokemon we got is Aurora. So I'm now out of my Dynamax here, right? So I can go for a Hydro Pump. The only thing about Hydro Pump, it does have... Uh, Bit of shaky actually, but I know if it connects, Aurorus is going to get sent back to the Jurassic period. So firing off that Hydro Pump there, praying it didn't have anything like Focus Sash, and Frosty the Aurorus is going to go down in one shot. So this is good. I'm in a quite a strong position here. Now the next Pokemon to come onto the field is Scumbreon. So it's like, okay, this is probably going to be like a two-hit KO at best, right? So firing that big old Hydro Pump off at the Scumbreon, it one shot to it was another critical hit. Wow, that was huge. That definitely would have lived that for sure. So bye-bye, Umbreon. This is content, people. So I've taken half the team out. I've still got Quagsire in the back. And the next one got to come out here is the Moltres. It's like, okay, Moltres, at least I've got Hydro Pump. That'll hit it pretty hard. And now we've got a Dynamax Turkey here. Now, I wasn't sure whether I was going to one-shot this. I did have, of course, I did have a couple of boosts and special attack. But I don't know what this is going to be, right? Maybe it's like, I don't know. I was thinking maybe Pasho Berry, weakness policy, something scummy like that, right? 
Uh, so here we go, people. I'm going to go for Hydro Pump again. Hopefully, I don't miss. I connect on the Moltres, and Moltres goes down in one shot, which is very, very good there. So bye-bye, Moltres. This could be it, people. This could be a low-key Quillfish sweep to make up for the first battle. Wait, the first battle never happened, all right? Next Pokemon is the Crobat called Squiggles. Also, this is their last Pokemon that only brought five along. It's going to go for a Twister. It actually doesn't take me out, but I get flinched on my Quillfish. You wouldn't ever read about it, people. So bye-bye to the Quillfish sweep there. I can't believe out of all the Pokemon moves that we use, I got stopped by a Twister Crobat. Oh, you people, I shout out people. So my last Pokemon here is Quagtar. I was so, I was, I was actually nearly as salty as the first battle there. It's going to have a Leech Life on it, so it's going to be able to get its health back there. It's a mixed set, so it's a Twister and Leech Life Crobat. Oh, man. I, I shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't have released these, this, this, this meme mentality to the world because now everyone does it to me. And I got salty about it. So we're going to boost our attack there. And uh, obviously, I can go for Liquidation next turn. Now, I thought the best play here would be to go for the Liquidation, right? Because I've got that berry up. Crobat cannot touch me unless it's got something like Nasty Plot. But then again, I've got Unaware, so it's not really going to matter. Really, the only move that can truly hit me with here would be Giga Drain, right? So Squiggles is going to be able to live one more turn. It's going to go for the uh, Leak Scythe again. Quagsire is too bulky on the defensive side. And that is pretty much... The second battle there. I mean, at least I got the dub in the end there. I was very lucky. Especially, I was very, very lucky on that Umbreon. That would have definitely shut my Quillfish down, I believe. But, man, I, you, you, I got the win, but I was, it was, I was salty because of that Quillfish. We we missed the Quillfish sweep. However, I have actually got a Quillfish sweep once before. It's a very old video, so if you like Quillfish, you can go check it out. Okay, third and final battle here. This one was against Justin. And this is probably the longest battle that I had with this team, right? And with this team, you didn't really have long battles because there's only two Pokemon. Now, the first Pokemon we got here is the Reggie Rock. You know what? Shininess, a very, very cool shiny. Actually, I did a brown shiny Pokemon very recently. I think it was not yesterday, but the day before. So if you like brown shiny Pokemon, go give it a watch. Now, I was like, okay, well, this could have Earthquake, but I believe I'll be able to live one really badly. So let's go for the Acro Pressure, right? So uh, putting my little pink finger down there. Oh, it's a spike. And hoping I can get a boost in Special Attack. And I got a Special Defense. Man, and then the Reggie Rot went for a Thunder Wave. Wow, that's not good. That's going to really affect my Quillfish's ability to be speedy, right? I might be able to get the Swift Swim up in Dynamax and get around that, but who knows, right? So I'm going to go for another Acropressure. I got paralyzed. I outsped the Reggie Rock, which is really good. And now it's going to be sending out the Stealth Rock. So I'm like, okay, that's a bit annoying. I mean, the only Pokemon that's really going to be affected by that is Quagsire, right? So Stealth Rock on two Pokemon only on Pit Bunch Channel. Now, I can go for another Acropressure, and hopefully I might be able to get a Speed Boost to get around that, right? Um, now, I get an evasion. in this, which is very good. And now the regular roll is going to go for explosion. I had my little, I had my little fins and pinkies crossed there that this one would actually miss and explosion is going to land almost taking me out. But I've got one more Pokemon. It's Quagsire, people. Now, my next Pokemon, right, could potentially get me back into this game, right? But it's been a failure every single time. This is the Quagsire versing a full Reggae Rock team. Uh, there's six shiny Reggae Rocks here. It's a troll team. I mean, let's be real. When is it? So we're going to Sand Tomb Reggae Rock now. It's going to be doing a, like quick sand damage to me every single turn, right? I need to set up as many curses as possible here, right? Because if there's any real strong physical moves, Quagsire will get hit by them fairly hard. Now, I've got a... Uh, Basically, my chances are pretty good if I can get maybe four curses up and then I can Dynamax, right? So, Reggie Rocks are going to go for the rock side there. It doesn't really do too much to me. And I'm going to be out. Obviously, I'm going to outsped using curses and stuff there, but I'm still so bulky, I could probably get a couple of flinches going my way and still set the curses up, right? And there's a good chance that I'll probably won't even roll an attacking move while I'm asleep, right? And I might get a couple of curses then, yeah? So Quagsire's got to be below half health now to the Sand Tombs, and then the Reggie Rock goes for Explosion. I'm like, oh no. I went for Rest there because I was worried, right? And Explosion does a lot of damage. I lived on 21 health. That could have been another disaster there. I could have lost the two Reggie Rock right there to Explosion. Do all of these Reggie Rocks have Explosion? I don't know, right? So anyway, my Quagsire is going to be closing his papers and going back to sleep there, right? I got to get some 
I gotta get some fire, like fire attacks on these uh these Regirocks. Now our cup's a meteor right, Regirock. I'm like, okay, this has to have meteor beam. Their name their nickname sorta of gave what the sets were away, so which is uh it's kinda of good. I sort of do the same thing myself, right? So this is a uh special attack rising set with the uh power herp here. Now the cool thing here is Meteor B missed. It's like that time, right? When I uh, tricked the items around and they uh, they missed against my Zoro. Man, that was salty. That could have been one of the saltiest kids ever. Anyway, so we're going to go for another curse here. Bolstering up my attack and defense once more. This is pretty much what I had to do. I was in a very, very strong position because I had healing too. And I could dish out a lot of damage to these Reggie Rocks themselves, right? Now we got an Earth Power uh, on the re on the, on the Reggie Rock on the Quags eye here. I actually ran a special Reggie Rock very recently, so... I pretty much have a very good idea of what the special moves are, right? So Quagsar is going to be snoozing once again, hoping for some sort of attack here. I mean, Curse isn't all that bad, but I'd like an attacking move there. And I get Curse again. So at this stage, I'm pretty much yet to get Liquidation through Sleep Talk. So it's pretty much my luck. But the good thing about that, if I do get six Curses up, I don't really need to rely on a resting Sleep Talk. I can just simply attack the opponent, right? There's more than one way to skin a cat, people, all right? is going to wake up. I'm going to go for the Liquidation here on the Reggie Rock. Does big damage. It's a clean two-hit KO, right? So they... Uh, well, I probably need another curse up to actually take these out, right? I've got about, uh, I think about three or four curses up at the moment. So let's get it to five or six curses and then I should be good to rock and roll. Especially when I'm in Dynamax, you know, like, that'll be hitting like really, really hard. Now, opponent can go for Dynamax as well. And Reggie Rock does have good defenses here, right? Man, this person must have been through like all the Dynamax adventures in the world and caught all those Reggies on the previous game to get all these, right? So here comes another Earth Power here. On the Quag's eye, does very minimal damage. Now, the thing about Earth Power, I was a little bit tired. I was tiny worried about the special defense drop there, but Reggie Rock doesn't really have a super high, massive special attack set, so I wasn't all that worried, right? Especially was there was like a whole team of them. Next one is uh, it's called Hydraulic. Hydraulic, oh, Hydraulic Press. It's got to be Body Press. I get it. Very, very nice. So after I've seen the nickname and the Iron Defense is getting set up, man, Iron Defense Reggie Rock. That's just mean, right? The good thing about this is I've got Unaware on my Quags, all right? So I'm good. Like, this actually is a... Like, Unaware is a very, very good ability, in my opinion. Very, very strong, right? On uh, this bulky Pokemon. Even setup Pokemon, like a speedy setup Pokemon. But mostly it's on tanky Pokemon, right? It's very, very nice, like a Clefable as well. Um, that's another real pain in the bum's first. Now, Quagsire is going to be sleepy. Huh? I hope that I can conjure up a liquidation. Just one would be great, right? And I get one. I'm like, wow, that's really, really good. Let's see how much it does. Liquidation does very good damage here. It's Once again, it's a clean two here. Okay, go. Now, this Reggie Rock has got uh, leftovers as his item, which is fine. I can easily take the uh, fourth Reggie Rock out. So here comes the Body Press. Since I've got the Unaware, it's going to do absolutely nothing, which is great. That's wonderful, right? Now, Quagsire, if, like, let's say I don't get Liquidation, I'll just go for it afterwards, or I may uh, max out my Curse. So I'm very, very close, right? So instead of getting Rest, which is great, um, I don't get Liquidation, but I get another Curse. So Quagsire is pretty much up to full curses here. Very, very, I think it's like five or six. I haven't been counting, right? But it's it's crazy bulky. They would really need to get a critical hit to get around my quags, all right? So I thought, okay, the time is ripe. There's only three more Reggie Rocks left and one's very weak. And so let's take this one out, get the rain flowing and then attack the last two. I mean, one of them may have max guard, so I might have to attack it outside of Dynamax, but... You know, it's still going to be a good opportunity to get the rain on the field, right? So Quagsire is going to be waking up this turn, and then the opposing Reggie Rock goes for a Protect. Man, that sucks, because now my move is going to be powered down by Protect, right? I was wondering if this actually was going to take it out here, and it didn't. It managed to live. I was like, man, that just used up one turn of Dynamax. That's unfortunate. But it's still all right, though, right? Because we got the rain flying. So at the very worst, I can possibly hit the next Reggie Rock with a really hard move. Unless they use Max Guard, then I'll be forced to use Liquidation outside of the Dynamax, right? So here comes the Body Press from the opposing Reggie Rock. It's going to do nothing at all there. And Quagsire's got to open. Look how big it opens its mouth, right? Damn, like, can you imagine that thing eating food? It'd just be shoveling it in right there. So bye-bye, uh, the Body Press of Reggie Rock. That looks pretty cool right there. Next Pokemon is the Golem. Um, now, that actually reminds me. I need to do a Lord of the Rings binge. It's been a, it's been a fat minute. So it's going to go for a Drain Punch there. It 
crits me. I was like, wow, that did a lot of damage. And they've got Life Orb on this one as well. So I uh, go for the Max guys here. I know that Regirock can have Sturdy as his ability too, so that may stop me from one-shotting. However, they did take prior damage from the Life Orb, and it is going to be going down. There's only one more Regirock left. Can I get the dub? Or am I going to get critted and everyone going to roast me for the rest of my life? Let's find out now. The last Reggie Rock is rock hard. I was a little bit scared of this thing, if you know what I'm saying. Now, we got a straight up Reggie Rock. I, 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 it could be a Desperation Dynamax. I, I'm, I'm going to call it that. Desperation Dynamax Reggie Rock, right? Like, look at all the Reggie Rocks. It's like, this, you're pretty much versing a team of mountains, right? I must admit, a very, very nice shiny lay when you put all that. Look at them all on the top there. It's not a lot of movement. It sort of just stands there. It doesn't really do a lot. It's kind of like Sudo Wudo. It just sort of just sits there. Okay, so here comes the Max Hailsop. I've got to say, this is possibly... This has to be coming from Ice Punch, right? Doesn't do a lot of damage there, but I can see what they're doing, getting some hail damage on my Quag's Eye, and also getting rid of the rain, too, so my Water-type moves won't do as much. So go for Liquidation. It's just over half health there, and it has Weakness Palsy as its item. Here we go, people. I have to live the next attack there. Weakness policy is not going to matter at all. I was more worried about like a big critical hit there, right? So I can go for the liquidation to finish it off or I will get credited. They're going to go for the Max House Orb on my Quags. Uh, it's not going to do anything. I don't think they really had a lot to hit me with with their Reggae Steel or their, sorry, their Reggae Rock or oh, their last Reggae Rock. And that, my friends, is the final battle there. I finally got a win in the end there uh, with the Quags. Uh, I hope you people enjoy this. I'm so glad the Q team has been done. What's next? Q, we're up to R next. Okay, peace out, people.